happening today, the U.N. is holding hearings over Israel's right to occupy certain Palestinian territories. This comes as the war between Israel and Hamas is now in its fourth month. CBS News' Jessica Moore is in the newsroom with the very latest on this. Jessica. Well, Mary, the International Court of Justice is weighing whether Israel's occupation of Gaza, the West Bank, and East Jerusalem has led to systemic racial discrimination, even apartheid. <laughs> Their signs read what their voices say, end the occupation. Even though the verdict or because the advisory opinion is not going to be binding, it's going to uh, weigh very heavily when it comes to uh, jurisdictional, but also morally. Demonstrators gather outside The Hague in the Netherlands this morning as a panel of 15 international judges weighs the legality of Israel's 57-year occupation of land sought for a Palestinian state. The hearings come amid Israel's ongoing invasion of Gaza in response to the October 7th attack by Hamas that left more than 1,200 people dead in Israel, according to Israel's foreign ministry. The Hamas-run health ministry says roughly 28,000 Palestinian civilians have been killed in the aftermath. Just today, the U.N. released a document citing credible allegations of Israeli soldiers abusing and mistreating women in Gaza, including reports of sexual assault and physical abuse. We need, well, first of all, a ceasefire to just stop further killing, further atrocities, and then honest, you know, steps, clear steps towards justice and an end to the occupation. Palestinian representatives are expected to argue that Israel's occupation of Gaza, the West Bank, and East Jerusalem violates international law. Israeli representatives are not expected to speak, but could submit a written statement. 51 countries are expected to attend the six-day-long hearings. An opinion from the judges could take months. Live in the newsroom, Jessica Moore, CBS2 News. Jessica, thank you.